Hey guys, going on? My name is Josh, and today I'm going to be telling you something different. Um, I decided that I just I would tell you a uh, crazy story of mine. I just thought of um, it just kind of brought me back to the past, and it it was really a strange story. So I might as well share it with you guys. It's kind of interesting. Um, you can take away whatever you think. I thought it was just crazy, weird, and it was a weird and uncomfortable situation to be in, but. Let's flash back to um, the Aurora Theater shooting. So, this event that I'm talking about occurs three days after that happened down in uh, Colorado. So, I was actually gone to see a movie with a few of my friends, and uh, we actually I, it wasn't Batman we went to see. It was a uh, it was something like that. But it was, like I said, it was a couple days, a few days after the shooting. So, like, it was just weird going to the movies. I wasn't comfortable going and stuff. So, after the movie and stuff, we were like, you know, that was awesome. Let's go and uh, grab something to eat in the food court. So, we go to the food court, and we all go get whatever the crap we, you know, all that junk food and stuff. We meet back up at a table, and uh, ours is not too far away from the main entrance to the food court in our mall in our town and um <clears throat> basically the situation was like this we were sitting down and just chatting and then all we see oh well all i see is a guy literally dressed up as the joker and he walks in to the mall with a brief with a briefcase and he just starts waving around the briefcase and starts laughing hysterically and in behind him comes a police officer and two paramedics. And so, like, I just started looking at everybody. I'm like, guys, are you seeing that? And everyone was like, oh, my God, what the, f you know. Because, like, this was just a few days after that shooting down over, like, at the Batman movie. And, oh, my God, it was sketchy because, like, he, he wouldn't let the cops take him. And when, when like, the paramedics gra tried to grab his arms, he, like, turned around in the other direction and started walking away. And so we finally walked out of the mall and um, with all the, like the paramedics and the uh, police officer behind him. So we, then we were just like kind of like, whoa, that like that could have been bad. Just imagine if that was bad. And so we decide because, you know, we're kind of nosy that we were going to go check it out. And so we wandered up the parking lot a bit and we actually found him constrained um with police officer there, but he was constrained to the thing with handcuffs to, uh, the, the paramedic thing, and they loaded him into the ambulance, and everybody was just crowded around, and it was just a really, really sketchy event, um, thank God nothing actually happened, but, you know, nonetheless, it was a very sketchy situation to be put in, um, I mean, I guess, in the end, this guy just had, like, some sort of mental breakdown, and stuff. I'm just glad here in Canada we've got pretty good gun laws. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed that crazy little story of mine. And, uh, I'll bring you more if you want. Any cool stories you guys have, just leave in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed.